Recent studies have shown that air pollution reduces our life as much as heavy smoking does. Breathing hazardous level of polluted air can decrease your life expectancy by 9 years. 9 out of 10 people today breathe polluted air and citizens of countries like India, Pakistan and China live in unhealthy pollution levels almost all year round. Pollution affects our health in multiple ways and governments across the world track the quality of air in their regions to ensure a clean and safe environment for its citizens. So in this video we will look at how air quality is measured, the effect of bad air quality on your health and how developing nations like India are trying to tackle this problem. Let's start. Air quality is a measure of how clean or polluted our air is. Monitoring air quality is important because polluted air can be bad for our health and the health of the environment. Air quality is measured with the air quality index or AQI. AQI works sort of like a thermometer that runs from 0 to 500 degrees. However, instead of showing changes in temperature, the AQI is a way of showing changes in the amount of pollution in the air. The air in our atmosphere is mostly made up of two gases that are essential for life on earth, nitrogen and oxygen. The AQI measures certain universally identified pollutants to check air quality. These pollutants are generally the same, but different health bodies in different regions might consider adding or removing certain pollutants to measure based on their geography. The most common pollutants that are measured globally, which form the basis of AQI, are ground level ozone, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, and airborne particles or aerosols. Now aerosols are the most common particles that cause pollution. Any particle that gets picked up into the air or is formed from a chemical reaction in the air can be an aerosol. Many aerosols enter the atmosphere when we burn fossil fuels such as coal and petroleum. These particles come from many sources including car exhaust, factories and even wildfires. Some of these particles and gases come directly from these sources, but others form through chemical reactions in the air. The amount of these pollutants is studied using satellite data which is analyzed through complex numerical algorithms. An index for each of these pollutants is created which then is collated into one single index which we call the air quality index. The AQI is divided into 6 categories. Each category corresponds to a different level of health concern. Each category also has a specific color which makes it easy for people to quickly determine whether air quality is reaching unhealthy levels in their communities. An AQI under 50 means the air quality is good. At this low AQI level, a person can spend time outdoors and air pollution will pose very little risk to their health. As the AQI number increases, so does the risk to human health. Exposure to polluted air affects our lungs, heart rate and can even cause cardiac arrests. While air pollution levels might not be the biggest concern in developed economies like Europe and the US, developing nations such as India have serious air quality issues. On average, in 2020, AQI for India was 141, which falls under the sensitive category. But some regions in the northern part of the country witnessed hazardous AQI levels of more than 500. Last year, during winters, the capital city of Delhi broke the index and recorded a reading of 999 plus. While it is important for governments to have policies and rules to maintain a decent level of air quality, the citizens also have an important part to play. Reducing car emissions, maintaining a dust-free environment, recycling and afforestation are some of the simple ways which can go a long way in cleaning our atmosphere. A cleaner air not only extends our lifespan but also helps nurture flora and fauna. Clean air is a basic need not just for humans but it also affects animals and plants. Agriculture and dairy farming, two of the most common and important industries for any country, depend on clean air for animals and their harvest. Intoxication in this process disrupts the entire life cycle and can cause everlasting impact on the food chain. So do your part to maintain cleanliness around yourself and your community as it will go a long way in maintaining a good air quality. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did do drop a like and subscribe for the channel. Also comment down if you have a topic and you're curious to know more about it. Thank you for watching.